and girls getting down on the bar. You can have a lot of fun. All right, so welcome everybody. I'm Karen Legault, marketing director for Perfinium, and I'm excited to have these guys out in the middle of beautiful farm country uh, right before uh, season kind of harvest season kicks off, though it's got a ways to go, so we'll have some time. Uh, but Andy, yes. you have some fun news and somebody that we're excited to introduce. I am very excited to introduce. Uh, we, we recently hired Mr. David Thamert. Um, comes with a number of years of ag banking experience in the Otana community and uh, the, like the 30 or 40 miles surrounding um, communities within Otana. Um, a large network of, of farmers and customers um, and portfolio that he comes with. So we're really excited to have him be part of the Perfinian team. It's awesome. been fun. It's been a fun week. Well, likewise, it's been it's been fun joining the team. I'm only in my second week, but uh, so far, very excited, and we're having a lot of fun. That's awesome. So. Awesome. Very cool. Well, what made you decide to come over to Perfinium? You know, I think Andy and I had worked together um, for a number of years at, at another local bank, and I think it's just, it's all about the people. I mean, one bank to the next, we really have the same product lineup for the most part. It's really about working with good people and being able to really provide a world-class experience uh, for your customers. And it's just every day, I, you just kind of get up thinking, what can I do for my customers, help them be successful, um, and just... I've kept in touch with Andy a lot over the last 10 years, and I, I've seen Profinium has b really been a market leader in, in bringing, uh, doing deals in, in Owatonna that's helped the community prosper, helped the customers be successful, and I just thought at, at this point, this is a good stage where I think I can I can really help st some, some local farmers uh, achieve their dreams, too. Awesome. And so let's go a little bit into your background. Yes. Yeah. So you are also farm child yourself, just like I am. I am. I am. I grew up, uh, a lot of people already know this, but I grew up uh, just outside of Owatonna on a large dairy farm. There was eight of us kids. Um, so I grew up there, you know, went to college, came back, ended up, I uh, always had the plan of moving to a big city and working in investment finance or something. And um, But really, as it turns out, wanted to raise a family. Uh, in a small town, Owatonna is as, as good as any small town out there. Awesome place to raise family. Yeah. And, you know, in Owatonna, uh, working in finance, for a lot of it just means ag. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's still an ag-based community at its roots. And it's uh, it's a lot of what I knew, what I'm comfortable in. And so it's been rewarding. I I think this is 17 or 18 years working in, in ag banking in the local market. And I uh, just like, love what I do. So it's one of your favorite farm stories as a kid. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, that we can share with everybody. <laughs> you know, just, I, just you know, a lot of good memories growing up um, on a farm baling hay in the summer. I, I, I still think back to just, you know, we'd, we'd have a big field to, to bale the hay in the day, and my dad would say, you know, if we can get all the work done before sundown, we'll go fishing up in Faribault. And I just remember everybody would kind of pool together, work together, We'd have two or three of the kids up in the hay mow, two or three driving hay racks, a couple of us on the baler. And um, yeah, just a lot of good memories of eight kids out on the farm working together. And, um, and, and here we are. Here we are. You know, my dad asked me to help bale hay one time when yeah. I was driving the tractor. He never asked me to do it again. <laughs> Maybe you popped It's kind of like laundry. <laughs> The tricky thing about bailing is to let the clutch off softly so the guy in the rack doesn't fall off the back. That is probably why, because he yeah. was the one on the back, so it's probably exactly what was My going sister on. had the same short rope. She had about 30 minutes of drive and she was gone. <laughs> this place worker. No, but you know, I think I think anybody watching this video that grew up on a farm or around a farm, you know, you just you get inundated with all these great memories growing up on a yeah. farm and it's just it's fun now. Now, I'm, I'm not a farmer. I don't live on the farm anymore. But uh, being able to kind of be in a different role and still being out on farms, we still, still do a lot of them. Andy and I were out, I think, at two different farms yesterday. We are out at a farm early this morning. Um, just love getting out, really understanding what our customer's operation is, um, understanding where we can fit in and offer some of the bank services and products and just kind of help each other be successful. Mm -hmm. You know, if our whole purpose is achieving dreams together, and that yeah. doesn't mean just here's a product, here you go, but no, we're actually going to help you get there. Let's like, do this. No, and that's awesome. the thing. It's This is this business isn't selling. This business is really understanding your customers, and each each customer is so unique. 
um, enough of my friends kind of know me in the peanut. They go, how are, how are farmers doing? It's a tough thing, and I, I try not to answer that question because I, I try not to make two farms aren't the same. Yeah, Each right. one, we know their family yeah. dynamics. Um, we know their, their operational dynamics. And, and we keep that close to the vest. You know, privacy and confidentiality is really, really an important thing for the families that we serve. And uh, we respect that, but we just love doing what we do. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Very cool. You know, and did you have a, what's like the favorite part of working with the ag community? You touched base a little bit on it, but any other favorite part? You know, I, I think it's just um, your knowledge keeps growing. You know, I, I learned so much from my customers and hopefully you can, you can bring some of what you know to them at times. I think you never get to the point where you go, I got this figured out. It's, it's because you're not doing the same thing. The, the farmers that I've worked with over my, my career, so much of your business is dependent on the weather, the markets. Um, those are probably the two of the main things. Uh, and then you have all the other drivers. And so it's, it's a constantly evolving thing. So you really need to stay sharp. And I think I, I've surrounded myself with some really good farm operators over the years that I've learned a lot. And again, hopefully you can kind of give some of that back. So I, I think my favorite thing is just no two days are alike. Okay. Niche yeah. enterprise is really different, right? It is. I mean, whether you're growing corn, beans, raising livestock, cattle, hogs, dairy. Yeah. Every enterprise is really different. You really need a specialist in those roles to understand exactly what's going on. You know, when I think, Andy, too, I, one of the things that really attract me th with Profinium is that the last couple of years, Andy has talked about, really our philosophy is we always start with a yes. You know, so if your customer has a need, let's start with a yes, because most of the time there's a way to do this. There's usually a, uh, uh, there's usually a way to help the customer. Right. And... But by, by dealing with maybe a few less, you know, I, I really, over my career, have only typically worked with 20 to 40 farm families at a time. Mm -hmm. So we don't pride ourselves that we, that we work with the masses. We don't pride ourselves that we're the biggest. But I think for the customers that we are working with at that specific time, I think we can give them world-class service. Yeah. I really do. Very specialized um, advice, services, and products that are very direct to their enterprise, their farm, or their situation. Mm -hmm. Right. Very customized experience. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. Absolutely. Any last words? Otherwise, you know, it's nice. You know, I've been sitting in the shade, and we've definitely put Dave in the hot seat, yeah. in yeah, the hot blazing fine. sun. That's fine. So any last last comments or anything from you two before we wrap it up? No, I'm just really excited to, to see what the future brings at Perfinium. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the next five to ten years is going to be a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of fun for us. So I'm looking for forward sure. to it. Yeah, I just want to say, I mean, I'm, I'm a very approachable person. I grew up on a, on a dairy farm here in Owatonna, um, or raising my family right here in Owatonna. Um, very approachable, so if you know me, uh, you know how to get a hold of me or stop in to see us. Um, see, see what we're all about. We'd love to talk with you. So. Awesome. Thank you both Thank for coming you. out, hanging out in the, Thanks for having us out, out in the yard. So. We're just boys and girls getting down on the farm.